As wars rage around the world, life goes on for American families. When an Army specialist from Michigan was badly injured in Iraq, his family thought it was all they could bear. They didn't know what was to come. Or, as Amy Lane shows us, how much his survival would mean. And he said to me, Dad, tell everybody I love him. And Dad, can you come to the hospital? Father's Day 2007, Cliff and Vicki Schrager's son David, an Army specialist, was blown up by a roadside bomb as he drove a Humvee on the streets of Baghdad. He and his fellow soldiers landed in a sewage canal where one of them drowned. David, I think he cried mm -hmm. all day. Um, but I don't know if it was a sense of, you know, I was driving and... The guilt these guys go through. The guilt, the trauma, the recovery as Cliff and Vicki and their four other children, Christina, Stephen, Joshua, and Timothy, spent days and weeks at David's bedside. But as you'll see in a moment, the Schroger family's darkest and most difficult days were still to come. First, more on David. Injured when the bomb went off, infected when he landed in the sewage canal, his arm almost had to be amputated. He was in a drug-induced coma when his parents first saw him in Germany. I just said to him, David, it's so good to see you, and started stroking his head. And and it was good to see him. Back home in Michigan, the Schroggers had been dealing with their own problems. Cliff, a former pastor, lost his job, and then they lost their home to foreclosure. Now they were spending almost all their time with David as he endured dozens of surgeries. Oh, brothers, dear brothers. But at the end of September, Vicki was back in Michigan for a class reunion. Her youngest sons, 17-year-old Joshua and 14-year-old Timothy, were headed to a party to meet their brother Stephen when they crashed into another driver on a country road in Clinton County near Lansing. Josh and Timothy were killed. Cliff got the news while with David at a hospital in Texas where he received an urgent phone call from a police chief. But he said the, the boys didn't survive. And it just didn't seem real. You know, that can't be. They were just down here. But it was all too real, and Cliff had to tell David. Finally, I went in there, and David was, what is going on? And I said, David, it is as bad as you can imagine. And I don't remember how I said that Josh and Timothy were dead, but um, he just said, no. Just hollered it out, just wailed it out. No. Dear brothers, we miss you both down here. A devastated David flew to Michigan for the funeral, joining his grief stricken family. Josh and Tim had been at his bedside as he struggled to recover. Now he struggled to be strong as he buried his little brothers. He was not strong. He was I mean, he was very pale, very weak still very sick. But David grew stronger and in June came back to Michigan from his home in Texas to accept his brother's diploma on the day Josh would have graduated from Lake Orion High School. My brothers both looked at me as kind of a, a hero, I guess. I was so proud of David. Not just for his military service, but that he would make the trip up um, and uh, go in front of all those people and get his brother's the diploma. David was Josh's hero, you know, but, uh, and David became, I think, the community's hero in a way too. A hero with the scars to prove it, emotionally and physically. This skin right here is actually from right there. That was in June. At the end of September, David again returned to Michigan to join his siblings and celebrate their parents moving into a new home built by so many well-wishers in Oakland County. Still healing, David plans to retire from the Army, and he and his wife, Katie, always by his side through these tough times, will welcome a baby into the world in April. We're very excited to have a kid on the way. Um, <laughs> it's, it's really cool. Um, and I'm really, really excited that this house is finally finished, and it's, it's just a huge blessing. And we're both 
very, very excited for my parents. It's going real well, yes. It's, it's, yeah, I've got one surgery left, and uh, hopefully after that I can start getting out of the Army. And on with his life in a family that is forever changed with parents who are forever grateful for David's service and his survival. There's something about him that's different from war, from the loss of his brothers, from being married, and it's not made him a worse person. It's made him a stronger, tougher, more realistic uh, hero to me. And Cliff Schrager says he feels that way about all our veterans. Never has meant so much to me as it does now. Um, I wish everybody that had been in military service for our country wore some kind of a badge all the time so I could thank him. The sad fact of war is that people will die, and they'll leave behind grieving parents, husbands, wives, siblings, and children. These are the names of the service men and women from Michigan killed since 2002. Some names may be familiar. Their lives will not be forgotten. We close now with this poignant reminder of those we've lost as we say thank you for your service.